Good morning to all friends. Today I will be giving you a small inspirational talk on an obvious motivational topic. I can if I have the will. A case study of Barack Obama. We all know that Barack Obama has been sworn in as the 44th President of the United States yesterday. Oh, what a achievement for him and the world as a whole. He is the first black president to have been elected in the August office. Such a big achievement. I think it is a bigger achievement than a man going to moon or climbing the Everest or achieving great feats. It is no less. A black man achieving the biggest seat and the most powerful seat in the world calls for a lot of introspection of the case that why people are not able to achieve what they want in life. Barack Obama has come from very humble beginnings. He comes from a family who was discriminated upon and his grandfather was once refused entry into a restaurant because he was a black. And from those humble beginnings he has come this far. His victory illustrates the winning of hope over fear. And it en enunciates the belief of self-belief, that what belief he had in himself. He takes over at a time when economy is very bleak, there's a lot of depression and bad mood around with pessimi pessimism abounding. So Barack Obama has a lot of challenges in front of him. He has to look into the Iraq war zone. He has to look into the Israeli Gaza Strip problem, the economy as a whole, and to improve the US world relationships. But he is totally confident of himself. He knows that he will achieve against heavy odds. That is his quantum of self-belief in himself. And he has brought the Martin Luther King's the dream speech of 1960s whereby Martin Luther King had dreamt that a black will sit beside a white and go ahead in the largest democracy of the world. He has a lot of challenges but he will meet them. So the case history is that he encomp encompasses all the qualities of a leader. He has a passion, he has a delivery, he has a vision and he has a discipline. Without mental and physical discipline, nobody can be successful today. This is the biggest learning for us from Barack Obama's case. We have to have self-belief, we have to be confident, we have to have a good self-image and that's how we can surge ahead. Otherwise, we will always remain in the background and will be the flock of 98% and will not become the 2%. Now to conclude, friends, I want to say that where there's a will, there's a way and Barack Obama's case illustrates that. Thank you.